Is that your daughter? Yes, Mama. Keep on, Amaryllis. I'll be there in a minute. Fine, dear. Now do your exercises. I don't remember the library being open this late last 4th of July. It was, Mama, all evening. Mama, a man with a suitcase has been following me all over town. Oh? Who? Well, I never saw him before. Did he say anything? He tried. Did you say anything? Mama, of course not. Now don't dawdle, Amaryllis. Do your exercise. So do la re ti me a little slower and please keep the fingers curved as nice and high as you possibly can. Don't get faster, dear. If you don't mind my saying so, it wouldn't have hurt you to find out what the gentleman wanted. I know what the gentleman wanted. What, dear? You'll find it in Balzac. Well, excuse me for living, but I never read it. Neither has anyone else in this town. There you go again with that same old comment about the low mentality of River City people and taking it all too much to heart. Now, Mama, as long as the Madison Public Library was entrusted to me for the purpose of improving River City's cultural level, I can't help my concern that the ladies of River City keep ignoring all my counsel and advice. But, darling! When a woman has a husband and you've got none, why should she take advice from you? Even if you can put Balzac and Shakespeare and other mother high flutin' Greeks. Mama, if you don't mind my saying so, you have a bad habit of changing every subject. No, I haven't changed the subject. I was talking about the stranger. What stranger? With a suitcase who may be her very last chance. Mama, do you think that I'd allow a common masher now? Really, Mama, I have my standards where men are concerned and I have no intention. I know all about your standards if you don't mind my saying so. There's not a man alive could hope to measure up to that blender pal bunions eight patch. No webster you can call it for yourself and your Irish abandoned nature. I was stubbornness in your library full of books. Well, if that isn't the best I've ever heard. Thank you. Can I have a drink, please? May I have a drink? May I have a drink, please? You may. Winthrop, it's after dark. And is that any way to walk into a house? Hello. Oh, no, that won't do at all. I'll have a kiss from me, boy. And that lady over there is your sister, young man. Hello, Winthrop. Winthrop, mind your manners. I'm having a party on Saturday. Would you please come? I would especially like it very much if you would come, Winthrop. Well, Winthrop, Amaryllis just asked you to her party. Are you going or aren't you? No. No what? <coughs> no, thank you. You know the little girl's name. He won't see Amaryllis because of the S, because of his lisp. He's ashamed. We all know about his lisp, Amaryllis. Well, Winthrop? I'll bet he won't say it. No, thank you, Amaryllis. <laughs> Amaryllis, Amaryllis! <laughs> oh, Winthrop. <laughs> He's crying. Why does he get so mad at people just because he lisps? It's not only because he lisps, Amaryllis. That's just part of it, dear. What's the other part? Never mind, dear. It's just he never talks very much. Not even to you and your mother? No, dear. We all have to be a little patient. I'm patient, even though he doesn't ever talk to me. But I do him every night. I say goodnight to him on the evening star. You have to do it the very second you see it, too, or it doesn't count. Good night, my Winthrop. Good night. Sleep tight. Oh, there, darling, don't cry. There'll be lots of time. If not Winthrop, there'll be someone else. Never! Then I'll end up an old maid like you! I'm sorry, Miss Marion. Can I play my cross hand piece? May I play? May I play my cross hand piece? You may. See, without a sweetheart, you have no one to say goodnight to on the evening star. I know, dear, but for the time being, just say goodnight. My someone, you can put in the right name when the someone comes along. 
All right, it's better than nothing. Yes, it is. Now you can play your cross hand piece. Now I may play my cross hand piece. <laughs> 